Hey, what's going on, guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I am here with RetroPi 3.7, and I'm actually using a Raspberry Pi 2 today. It's overclocked to 1.2 gigahertz. And I was able to finally get WHD load working with the Amiga emulator. Um, it takes some configuring, but I will be making a tutorial. I just wanted to show you that it works pretty well. We'll get right into it here. I put a few games. Um, I'm not sure if all the games work right now due to different kick ROMs and everything like that. But I know at least two of the games work perfectly. Get into it here. Uh, before we get started here, I'm using a PS3 wireless controller. And I cannot get the controls to work in the Amiga emulator. Now, the Amiga emulator controls are hard-coded, so even on RetroPie's wiki page, they suggest using the keyboard, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Hopefully, I can fix this and get this running, but for now, I just wanted to show you that WHD load works very well on this. As you can see, I'm booting from the HD, which is my system.hdf. And my hard drive directory I have in my ROMs folder with a few games in it. I just named it Amiga Games. I am using pretty much the A1200 preset. And I'm just going to start. And we're right into it. Now I didn't use the... I used the 16-bit color, but I didn't choose the copper background and things like that. Just in case it didn't work, in the tutorial, I will try it and see if uh, we can get this looking a little different. But for right now, you can go in and you can add your games with... I'm not sure if you pronounce it Dupus. You can add your games to your game directory. But for this tutorial, this mouse is so sensitive... I'm just going to be booting the games directly from my Amiga game drive. Now this is located in my ROMs folder. So we'll do Fat Man Cape Consumer. And these are AGA games. Now, even on my PC emulator, this screen here is a little shaky, the next one, but the gameplay is not. I need to double check the controls on RetroPie. See, even if you hit F5, you can change between, but it does not work right now. So, so left control is my joy, my X button, or my joypad 1. Left alt is my joypad 2. Left shift is my auto fire Z for my mouse 1. Arrow keys are going to work here. And if you press control escape, you'll escape the game. So... Let's see if we can get this started here. I may have my joypad on in here when I was testing so I'll have to go back out custom control was on so I'm gonna turn this off because it doesn't work I tried to set up the joystick here we'll just go to resume and my keyboard should work from here now and I'm using the keyboard to move I'm going to turn the music off. But this is pretty cool to have the WHD load working with the AGA games. Now it works with, you know, A500 games also. 
I just have a... I wanted to try these AGA games. There we go. Ooh! Gotta get... I'm gonna kill this baby. And the games run really well. Um, now, one of my viewers is into Amiga a lot, and I've never really appreciated it, but I really, I'm, I'm loving Amiga now. There are lots of great games. Let's see if I can jump down. So, I've never played this game. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I just wanted to show you that it is working. I tried to get this working before, but I just, these game, the AGA games are to use them with the regular load on Amiga. Some of these are six discs or six, yeah, six discs long. And um, it's just impossible to keep, it's not impossible, but to keep switching discs really sucks. So that's what WHD load is for. You don't have, all you have is one single file. And you don't have to switch disks. You just run it directly from pretty much a hard drive location. So, control, escape. So what I want to do is try to set up controls to just exit out of the game and go directly back to the workbench screen. We're going to try another game here. Fighting Spirit. And this mouse is super touchy here. like the Aladdin A there. The music for this game is awesome. I just don't want to get a copyright strike again. Story mode. So this is one of the games I did test. So I was sure this one worked. The last game, the caped consumer. Um, I, I never tested it. I'm glad it worked. This is really just to show you that it does work on, um, you know, the WHD load on the Raspberry Pi. And this is really cool because there are a bunch of AGA games that require so many discs. And to be able to play them from a single file is just really cool. Destroy. Finish him. And it runs perfectly. I don't notice any lag in the emulator on any of the games that I've tried so far. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to run most of the Amiga games at full speed.
I'm going to back out of this game, and I will show you one more game. Um, possibly feels a little better, but I'm going to try. We'll try the other pinball. Pinball mania. This is the, what I was talking about. This is what I get when I try to play Banshee. I do have both of these BIOSes, and they're not the bat file. It is the .rom file. I'm just not sure what's going on with that. I have to find the correct one. So we're going to try Shaq Fu. I'll eventually get all this right. A lot of these games do work with the kick ROMs I do have, so... Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments what uh, BIOS I'm missing and possibly point me in the right direction. Now, I had no clue that all of these games came out on the Amiga system. We're just going to choose Shaq. Is that Michael Jackson? Oh, no. Shaq versus Shaq. Come on, get over here. Get up. Ooh. Super power up. Oh, man. Well, as you can see, these games work pretty good. So that's it. That's the Amiga emulator running on RetroPie 3.7 using WHD load. Now, I'll be making a tutorial on setting this up. There are a couple of files that you need to find on your own, but they're very, fairly easy. Just got to use Google. If you guys have any comments, if you guys know of the kick ROM that I was missing, let me know down below in the comments, or you can send me a private message by going to my channel page, clicking about, and send message. Uh, guys, hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up button, because it really helps me out, and subscribe, because I have a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.